party like it's earthbound. Having four members of the, of the party? Yeah, don't get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey everybody, Klaus here. Welcome back for more. Let's play Chrono Trigger. Last time, made it through the gate in the Protodome with four characters and ended up here. Anyway, this time, we're going to find out where the heck we are. But this time, I have a special guest. May he kindly introduce himself. Hello, everyone. Golden Tails Geek here. And Klaus graciously invited me to join him on this little part of the game because Chrono Trigger is one of my favorite games of all time, if not the my fa the favorite game of all time for me. And uh, I haven't uh, Let's Played this game yet but, uh, yet, but I plan to in the future, and I've played this game since I was nine years old, and I just love it so much. <laughs> and, for context, yes. and for context, I'm 30 years old, so I've been playing this game for over two decades. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old Yeah, it's not one of my, yeah, it's, not, yeah, it's not my all-time favorite, but it's definitely one of my favorites up there yeah. with the Final Fantasy series, as yeah. I said before. I, I'm ashamed to say I didn't get into the Final Fantasy until I played the GBA port of Final Fantasy V, but Fair enough. I'm a little late in the game when it comes to that series, but eh. But at least I started with a decent one. At least I think 5 is decent. But then again, right. it, uh, it, some people don't, but it, because it's silly, and I'm like, that's exactly why I like it. It's silly. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> Alright, one thing here is if you check this canister, you can get a HP and MP restoration. Which is really oh yeah, nice I, 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 always, I, uh, I always use that thing whenever I come to this part. Uh, this little hub. When I'm hey. playing the game. But anyway, let's talk to this. Let's talk to this old geezer here. Yeah. Uh, more guests. What do you mean, guests? And where are we? Why, this is the end of time, of course. All lost travelers in time wind up here. Now, where are you from? Where from, Guardian Kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> Remember to breathe, my friend. <laughs> I cannot take this away seriously. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although if it were me talking like the old man, I'd be like, "Take damn it, kids, get off my lawn!" You know that kind of voice. <laughs> you know that kind of voice. The stereotypical old man. Yeah, one of my a lot of my friends say I'm pretty adept with voices, so. <laughs> As you'll see in a few minutes, folks, uh, I've, got, I've got a little voice planned because I asked Klaus to, if I could do this before we started recording. So, all right. Now, okay, what the old man basically here is explaining when four more beings step through a time warp, the conservation of time is, yes, yeah, they end up here in the end of time, basically. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. <laughs> <laughs> Time is just but a simple thread. Hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen Moffat. Good Anyway. <laughs> Please resist this here. Services in the space-time continuum have increased recently. Far too many folks are just popping in here. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means one of us has to remain here. Stay here, alone? It is pretty bleak here. Not to worry, all time periods. <laughs> I can't keep doing this voice. It's alright, <laughs> take your time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can visit your friends here whenever you wish. You can never travel in groups greater than three. Yeah, the, the arbitrary headcount limit. Gotta love RPGs for doing that. Yeah. A funny, funny story. I actually remember. I was so used to having three party members in this game that, because this was like one of the first JRPGs I ever got to play myself. That when I got when I went to go play um, Golden Sun, the first one for the first time, I was so thrown by the fact that all I had all four party members on my team at once, and I could and I could battle with all four. Uh, that threw me for a loop because I was like, oh god, that means I got to drop one of my party members and just travel with three, don't I? Yeah, and then I found out that like four, four or more, four or more party members is kind of more normal compared to most RPGs, and that having three in your party is actually quite unusual. But uh, the benefit of hindsight. Right. Anyway. Okay, when it comes to switching party members, okay, this is something I kind of have mixed feelings about in Xen Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yeah, uh -huh. In uh, this game, just press the X, 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 X square button, you can switch party members anytime. 
Mm-hmm. You see those lovely pillars of light? Those hook you up to different time errors. So if it's up... In other words, there are gates within a gate. It's Gateception. <laughs> <laughs> Gateception. I'm sorry, I had to. It was worth it. That was brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I, I, honestly, I haven't really seen much of Inception, although I hear good things. Although I've also heard one of the complaints is that the movie is like 90% is 90% exposition. Okay. Going back to the time gates, old man is going to interrupt us. Yeah. Whenever he says, hey, uh, he wants your attention for something. So it's something to keep in mind, folks. Yeah. Definitely keep this in mind. When he shouts, hey, at you, go talk to him immediately. Yeah. Like, even when you're right when you land and you see, hey, that means he, he needs you. Hurry! This is you, we're needed. Um, <laughs> I'm not expecting anyone to get that reference. But anyway. What are you looking at? Yeah, see, this is kind of, uh, you know, I'm Specchio, the master of war. I've seen all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you guys? Uh, doesn't matter what you say, really. It's a but that Should I be a dick here and say he looks weak? It, it doesn't matter what you say. He says the same thing. It's a but thou must situation, so. Yeah, I know he kind of says the same thing. You know, I'm just going to say he's strong. I see. Let me, let's put it this way. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. You're strong and will. That's why the old one lets you through. Long before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there could use it. But in time, people began to abuse their powers. It got so bad that no one was allowed to use magic except wizards. That's a bit of a mistranslation, but whatever. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But you'll find. But you'll. But you'll find out what he's getting at later on in the game, folks. Yeah. Well, just roll with it. Yeah. But you have it. Determination. I mean. What is this, Undertale? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so okay. I, I, but I have not played Undertale yet. I definitely need to get well, on that. Uh, I, well, I don't. That without saying too much, th without saying too much, determination is a bit of an arc word in that game for some reason, and I won't yeah. say why. But anyway, actually, I actually have a name. I actually have a friend by the name of Goth Moth, and he kind of spoke about it a little bit. And the way he yeah. described it, it's Pun City. Uh, it it kind of <laughs> is. I, I mean, I haven't played a lot of it myself, although I have it on my Steam account. But yeah. Uh, anyway, magic needs to power the heart. It needs inner strength. Magic is divided into four types. Lightning, fire, water, and shadow. Okay, this is a really important game. Remember how I said keep those um, element tabs in mind? This is what that's what yeah, this is what that was alluding to. Yep. I can't... Uh, yeah. Although in the DS version of the game, it's known as light as a compromise between the fact that lightning is kind of the censorship thing of holy magic, basically. So, but anyway. You with the punk hairdo, you're lightning. The one with the ponytail is water. The one with the goofy glasses is fire. <laughs> oh, you forgot about that line? <laughs> <laughs> the, the one with the goofy glasses. Yeah. There's a couple of NPCs, like I pointed out in the first episode, how they were fixated on her glasses. Yeah, but that's also a bit of a mistranslation in the, uh, yeah, uh, that they changed back to what it's supposed to be in the DS port. But, yeah. But, it, but yeah, those are pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, back! <laughs> anyway, not just magic, but everything is based on the balance of these four powers. Always has to be the balance of the universe. Yeah. Duct tape is like the force. It has its dark side, its light side, and it binds the universe together. Anyway. Um, <laughs> think, think magic and starting from the door, walk clockwise around the walls of my room three times. Don't lose track now. Okay, this is actually my kind of least favorite um, aspect of this game. Yeah, that that, conf that that confused me for a bit, but if you play the DS version, it's actually a little bit easier, so at least to me. I, I'm sorry if I keep harping on the DS version, but for me, I, we, I said this before we started recording, but the DS version of Chrono Trigger is like the definitive version in my book. Yeah, one thing I don't like is that they took away um, Frog's 
dialect, but a lot. Of I, I didn't mind that off. actually because in the, in the original Japanese version, he was supposed to be a bit rude and abrasive and not necessarily kind of a misanthrope, but pretty darn close. And then he then he start softened up as he started meeting, fighting with alongside Chrono and everything. And so that that's kind of like that that was kind of like his character progression and everything, but. But so I kind of like that they kind of changed that in the AS version, to be honest. Although I, I did kind of like that faux Elizabethan accent thing going on in this version because it conveyed how silly this game can get sometimes. But anyway, very good. Ipso facto minimo magico. What kind of incantation is that? Yeah, I know. It's I don't remember what it's supposed to be in the Japanese version, but. Eh. But hey, whatever works. May the spirits give me magic! I have the power! Wait, this isn't He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say! <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm rife with pop culture in my brain. It's just, there's so much of it in my brain that it's just, I could reference anything and some people... I, I mean, there's. I've made ref. I mean, heck, one of my Pokemon in uh, Pokemon X is a reference to an old timey movie from the '50s. So that should show me where you know, where my head is at when it comes to pop culture at times. Yeah, fair enough. So yeah, and in fact, only one person has uh, gotten the reference and not question asked me about it, and that's my friend Kate. So anyway, so fortified with magic. Want to try it out? Yeah, we will go and try it out. All right. Yeah. Okay, this I'm going to say is an optional fight in the game. Just a little training area that you can use to well, train his magic. Yeah, and also if if you win against him as he gets as you get stronger, he changes form and as, as and um, you know, the more if you fight all his different forms over the course of the game with your magic and stuff. Uh, you're you're able to uh, you're actually he'll give you some really good items if you win so and, and also yeah, you can still learn and you can still learn like double techs and triple techs in this ba in these yeah. in this battle too as if it was like an ordinary fight so it's kind yeah you definitely want to keep coming back here if you want to get like some really cool stuff yeah funny enough this uh, this isn't like the weakest form of specchio you can see there's actually a little frog like form you can see of him like if you made it to this part of the game before you reached level 10. I, I found that out in the bestiary of the game when I was uh, playing the DS port. And I was just like, wait, there's a weaker version? And that <laughs> I, 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 I kind of figured that out as well, looking oh. through the bestiary. Yeah. Yeah, and Specchio can be a bit of a... can kind of cast you aside like that. I've I, I found, actually, if you actually win this fight, you can actually learn... Um, Antipode, which is a really good double tech for um, Chrono and Marl. So that's uh, like one of my favorite techs in the game is the Antipode trilogy of spells. I love those. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a really good. Well, yeah, it's well, really it's a well, really or really Antipode good or spell Antipode time, bomb, though. as it's called in the DS version, which I think sound, makes it sound a little more badass, personally. But yeah, the, the antipodes. Yeah, the antipodes series can be uh, destructive. Oh yeah, I, I find it. I find it just as a great way of nuking the final boss into oblivion. Personally, but that's just me. <laughs> well, well, people who lived long ago all enjoy such powers. Now I know you're itching to go ripping back and forth through time, but first you need to return to your era, and you must hurry. The longer you remain here, the harder it will be to change that which must be changed. Set right what one set wrong. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's referred to um, Lavos. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I was making more of a reference to Quantum Leap, which uh, which is one of my favorite shows when I was younger. I used to watch it with my brother a lot. So. I used to watch Quantum Leap with my mom actually. Yeah. One of my favorite episodes was that two-parter involving Lee Harvey Oswald and um, and uh, JFK. Yeah, it was just I I was really floored by that, and that's what really fascinated me by history was that there was these all these really important events like JFK's assassination and, and stuff like that, and just that are just such a key part of our history. Yeah. Yeah, I believe the last episode I I seen myself was the um, 
was was like uh, oh god how do I explain it um you know you, you know you know the um bra burning feminists oh yeah I remember that episode yeah I believe that one was the last one I seen they have the whole series on DVD so you could try to cut out sometime how's it look into that yeah hey did you people just come out of the closet get out of here come out of the closet yeti yeah, Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just There's leaving a gate it there. inside that closet. I, I'm just leaving it there. Yeah. yeah, let's not go anywhere else with that. Yeah. You can use magic? Magic using humans supposedly parrots on go. That's actually a pretty good voice I, for those little goblin things. Imps, yeah. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Coming in and going out of our closet at <coughs> all our scram. Wait a sec. Mednia Village was founded by the ancestors of the mystics who lost a war to human beings. Most mystics hold a grudge against humans. Be careful. Yeah, we're gonna... Mm -hmm. Be careful, I suppose, here. Yeah, humans who fought, fought the mystics over 400 years ago. That's a pretty good motto, actually. Forgive yep. and forget. Yep, that's kind of how I live my life. Forgive and forget. Unless uh, unless you've done something so reprehensible that you can't re forgive them. But, uh, um, wait, wait, wait. Go back for a sec. There's something that not many people know about, but it's really, it's a neat little detail that I really like. If you, uh, go back to the resume. If you... Uh, yeah. I gotta wait till the, uh, screen comes back, but, um... Uh, okay, now see that little piece of cake on the table. You can actually take that and, and replenish your HP and MP, and they'll say your folk. Yeah, see your folks hungry. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I discovered that on the DS version, and you can just, just eat that up and replenish your HP and MP, and, and off you go. So I, th I I I figured it was just a uh, graphic aesthetics. I, I didn't think yeah. these M's would offer us cake. Yeti. Yeah, I know. That was really good. I know. It's kind of cool. I, I, I discovered that when I played the DS port, so I, I didn't even know you could do that. So. Right. Now, while still in the um, village, if you try to go to the market and try to shop, these guys will attack you. Yeah, unless you unless you, with, you plead with them. and I mean, if you just kind of give up, they leave you alone, but if you plead with them, yeah. yeah. You know it all, humans! Teach them a lesson, boss! Oh, the Omicron. Yeah, the Omicron, yeah. What's pretty funny is that this guy's attack is actually pretty inaccurate. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's, I like when he shows up in the um, in the tower or in the Hyrule Castle town. So he's like, so you're the except con, and you go and you beat the crap out of him, and he's just like, they don't pay me I've enough done for that, this. That part, <laughs> I, I, I've done that part actually. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I know you're. That was earlier in the game. I, 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 but still, I just, I love that part. That crack me yeah. up. That's they don't pay me enough for this. And then he just scarpers away. It just, it just. I love how I just is, his, um, how his uh, sprite just goes right diagonally up the uh, stairs. It's, it, it's yeah. kind of cheesy, but it works. They got the boss. Beats. We were defending ourselves, jeez. Yeah. Apparently self defense right, is not a, is not the law of the land in this in this village. Alright. Nothing here is worth buying. Look how crazy expensive this stuff is. Yeah. Gotta love fantastic. Iron... I mean there's some really good equipment in there that's more powerful than the stuff you have. It's just the fact that you can't afford it. Yeah. Like the Iron like Blade. the demon age, the a weaker rope. weapon. Yeah. The demon 65 thousand gold yeah and by the time you're, you and also real? by the time you can get this stuff you're it's already been kind of completely just and utterly just uh, like matched by what you have already uh, what you'll have equipped already so yeah this store isn't even worth it yeah even, holy crap yeah even after later in the game when the prices become a little more reasonable spoilers but um and 
Yeah, but but yeah, by the time you can get stuff at a reasonable price, you'll already have better equipment than the shop has to offer. Yeah, and it's uh, and plus you can get that same equipment wicked cheap, uh, cheap a lot cheaper in uh, other places anyway. So anyway, enough of calling things forward. <laughs> Carno, what's that weird canting? There's Magus' statue. Yeah, gotta love Magus. The ultimate badass. I mean, he's, I, well, I mean, he's wields he's a, he wields a sickle weapon. for a weapon. How can he not be badass? I mean, he's he's almost like this this universe's Grim Reaper or something. I love it. <laughs> Forty years ago, it have passed since Magus commanded the Mystics and raged war against the humans. When Lavos is awakened, all humans are doomed. <laughs> Who says he won't kill you guys too, but yeah well. Evil's not a toy. No! Okay, Chuck. Evil is definitely <laughs> not a toy. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the way you, the inflection you put on the no there just reminds me of Chugga Con, right? <laughs> yeah, Chugga actually uh, yeah, Chugga's actually the one who got me doing the epic. No! Yeah. I, I sometimes throw in one of those too, but not too often though. <laughs> All you right. can also explore around the store for like another uh, the village for other things too. Like I think there's a magic tab or something in one of the houses. But I we could, 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 I, I, if I recall correctly. Is there is there one of the is there a magic tab in one of the houses? I th or, or or I think so. Yeah. Or or the elders' house rather. There's like little tabs and stuff. So there's all kinds of goodies you can get this part. I think they like little sparkles. Yeah, there's oh, speak speed tab the rather. Speed and tab. then there's one on. The, I think there's like a magic tab on the top. On the top, uh, uh, if you go up the stairs. So. I'm gonna go and nab that real quick. Yeah. Sometimes I actually kind of like to save the um, save the tabs that you get in the game until like way late in the game after collecting them. Just to uh, and and then just you and then distribute them amongst my party members after uh, like once it gets to be end game time. So. Yeah, that's that's exactly yeah that's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Glad we're on the same wavelength then. <laughs> I, I just I just find it easier, especially when it comes to the speed tabs that you could just mag they just use them to max out everyone's speed. So. Yeah, it especially comes in handy when taking out the um on a boss. Yeah. Ah, hello there, Melchior. Nice to see you. Ah, uh, hello. Can I interest you in, in, a, in a weapon? Yeah, let's see what you got. Yeah, let's see what kind of goodies you have for us. Alright, the red katana for Chrono, the ro the robin bow for, yeah, the hmm. plasma gun, and the hammer arm, which I already have. Yeah, and, yeah, and the... Yeah, the Titan Vest, or as it's called in the DS version, the Titanium Vest, which is kind of why, uh, which makes a lot more sense to me. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. But, yeah. Case. I, I usually like to kind of get the best equipment for all my characters, so, and then sell off all the old stuff. That's kind of how I, do, I play the game, so. Yeah, the, red the, the, the red game. katana is actually pretty good for Chrono at this point in the game, especially since it ups his magic by two. It'll really help with uh, increasing his lightning spells for the next uh, for the next part coming up. Yeah, but I'm not going to be um, updating my equipment now. I'm going to be doing that off screen. Yep, sounds like a plan. Yay! Yeah, I, I like to buy the equipment on screen myself when I LP RPGs, but to each their own. <laughs> Weapons. If there weren't evil in this world, there would be no need for weapons. A sad state of affairs. What would really be a sad state of affairs if you have a weapon shop selling out? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> or, oh, I, I, yeah. dread the, I dread the day that should ever happen. <laughs> yeah, I get that, because um, I have a family member who has a concealed carry permit. And He's it, not because uh, he's and he's worried about the day that you know that you know that you know he won't be able to have his guns on hand to protect himself. So I'm, I'm not saying who it is for the sake of just his identity, but yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to keep that hidden. Yeah. So I've actually I've actually seen a few 
idiots on YouTube arguing against the Second Amendment. I think the Second Amendment is uh, is good. It keeps people like them from getting guns, frankly. But yeah, or, or well, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, think we need more stipulations anyway in terms of gun control. Anyway, it's not going to take away anyone's guns. It's contrary to what other people might say. But, <laughs> but you know, it's. But I feel like a little firmer regulation might help some of the school help school uh, prevent school shootings. You know, I mean. But yeah, it's it almost looks like it's like anything that regulates anything dangerous is like that could be dangerous to other people is met with hostility. Like they're gonna take it away, and I'm like, no, they're making it so they're making it so that mentally uh, people who are mentally unfit to equip, to handle such things can't get them. That's not the same thing as taking them away. It's based off your attitude, you seem to be, uh, you, and you know what? You all you're doing is making it worse. Uh, you're gonna get it. Uh, uh, all you're doing is making it worse for yourself because you're, uh, you can seem like you're mentally unfit to have the weapon in the first place by making such a big hoopla about it. <laughs> so therein lies the irony. Yeah, that's what hysteria so does. So you're causing the self fulfilling prophecy. Can I defend this too? Anyway. But I digress. <laughs> I think on that note. Yeah, sorry. I got a little bit of a, I went in a little bit of a filibuster there. <laughs> yeah. But on that note, I think we're going to end things off, so thank you for joining me. Yep, no problem. It was great fun, and you know, if you want me to do any more episodes of this game, just give me a, drop me a line. I mean, one of my favorite parts of the game is the, is the boss fight with Magus coming up, so spoilers. But, you know, I just, I love that part of the game, especially the music. Oh, I love that theme. Do, 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 do. Anyway, sorry. I won't say any more. I won't hum any more bars just because I want people to, you to bask in the awesomeness you, of his theme. Should you desire to return to Truce Village, use a shortcut through the cave in the mountains to the north. Yep. And next time, well, I guess is it. Next time on Let's Play Corner Trigger, we're gonna be doing just that. Yeah, I love that. I love that part. Hi. See you guys then. Laters.